What is the difference between registers and data memory? In a computer system, the registers are directly inside the CPU and are used for immediate, high-speed data manipulation. Data memory, or RAM, is external to the CPU and is used for larger-scale storage that holds programs and data the CPU accesses over time. Registers are inside the CPU and have the fastest memory in a computer system, as they are located inside the CPU itself. Accessing data from registers typically takes just one CPU clock cycle, which makes them ideal for operations requiring immediate access. Registers are typically 32-bit or 64-bit wide, which means that they can hold data values that are 32 or 64 bits long. For example, a 64-bit register can hold an integer up to 2 to the power of 64 minus 1. In a 64-bit CPU architecture, each register can hold a 64-bit value, allowing the CPU to process larger numbers or more precise data. The bit width of the register reflects the CPU's data handling capabilities, affecting everything from processing power to memory addressing. So what is the purpose of registers? Number one is operands for operations. Registers temporarily store the operands or input data needed for the CPU's arithmetic and logic operations. For example, two numbers that needed to be added together would first be placed in registers. Two is instruction pointer. Registers also store the program counter, or PC, which holds the memory address of the next instruction to be executed by the CPU. And number three is status flags. These registers hold control flags that help track conditions from the CPU's operations, such as zero flag, which indicates whether the result of an operation was zero, and sign flag, which indicates if a result is negative, and carry flag, which helps with multi-word arithmetic. These flags are crucial for branching and decision-making within programs. For example, the add R1, R2, R3 instruction in assembly. Assembly is a low-level programming language that directly maps to machine code instructions. How does this work on the register level? The add R1, R2, R3 instruction tells the CPU to add the values stored in register R2 and register R3. The result of this addition is stored in register R1. Behind the scenes, the arithmetic logic unit, or ALU, takes the values from R2 and R3 already loaded in the registers and performs the addition operation. The result is written back into R1. This entire process is incredibly fast as it never leaves the CPU or accesses slower memory. Data memory, or RAM, is external to the CPU. Accessing RAM is slower compared to registers, typically taking anywhere from 100 to several hundred CPU clock cycles due to the time it takes to send signals between the CPU and the RAM. Unlike registers, RAM is significantly larger in size, typically measured in gigabytes. It is used to store the operating system and active programs. Data structures such as arrays that are too large to fit in registers are also stored in data memory. Programs stored on the hard drive are loaded into RAM for execution. The CPU fetches these instructions from RAM and executes them. While registers handle small, immediate data, Larger datasets, for example, arrays or matrices, are stored in RAM. These are brought into the CPU in chunks for processing. Memory is often divided into pages or blocks, and data is moved between RAM and CPU caches to reduce latency. An example would be matrix multiplication. When performing matrix multiplication, the CPU can't store entire matrices in registers. Instead, the matrices are stored in RAM. The CPU fetches elements from the matrices one at a time from RAM, stores them temporarily in registers, performs the multiplication, and stores the result back into RAM. How do registers and data memory interact? The CPU relies on a seamless interaction between registers and data memory, or RAM, to execute programs efficiently. The CPU fetches an instruction stored in RAM and places it in a register for execution. If the instruction involves data, for example, two numbers to add, the CPU checks if the data is already in the registers, if not, it fetches the data from RAM and places it in a register. The CPU performs the required operation, for example addition or multiplication, using the arithmetic logic unit, or ALU, and registers. The ALU takes the operands from the registers, performs the operation, and stores the result back in a register. After processing, the result might be written back to RAM if it needs to be stored for future use or if it is part of a larger dataset. So in summary, registers are fastest, used for immediate data access and calculations, but they're limited in size, but ideal for on-the-fly operations. They store instruction pointers, operands, and status flags. Data memory, or RAM, is larger but slower, used for storing programs and larger datasets. 
RAM is used when the CPU needs to store more data than registers can hold or for instructions and data that will be used over time.